Well, yeah, I get a lot of questions, you know, about, uh, my comedy and, you know, my music and my, uh, you know, all just, you know, all of it. So does, does that answer your question? Yeah, there's actually nobody here, see? I was just doing a little, uh, I was just doing a little acting, you know? Every once in a while, I'm like, I'm gonna do a little acting, and you know? I think right now might be one of those times, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, acting, you know what I'm saying? So here's the thing, here's the deal. I wouldn't have been compelled. I, I would not have been compelled to pick up this freaking phone. beautiful bird sounds out there. I don't know if you've noticed that. You crazy rascal, you video watcher, you video watcher, yeah. Videos, you know, really, I mean, geez. I mean, dad, I mean, geez. Who watches videos anyways these days, you know? I mean, I like to listen to music on iPods. It's true. It's true. Oh, there goes UPS. You can just look at the back of that truck there. You could say, like, there goes ups. <laughs> you know? I don't look like I got a little something on my mouth here. I think that's just natural red hair, fair skin kind of, like, it looks like chicken wing stuff, though. I had chicken wings last night for a late night snack. You know what I'm saying? There's, this guy's running. He's running, jogging. Just, just jogging. Just you know, just kind of chugging along. But is that? I think that's got to be chicken wing. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That's <laughs> that is hilarious because I was out and about earlier this morning. You know. So somebody, people saw me with that shit on my face, yep. It's all good though. Chicken wing grease on the face is actually, you know what? I am such, um, just wanna make sure you're, st you're holding, you're staying, you're good, you're, do you're doing good, you're doing all right, you holding in there, hanging in there with this video? Yeah? You chilling out? Just chill out, you know, relax your body, just fucking chill, man. Just chill out, just chill. I, uh, you know, I'm so aligned with Mother Nature that uh, I trust whatever happens. I kind of try, try, I let things flow, you know, I let them flow. Things that I used to think were mistakes or mess ups or whatever, I just, oh, if you let them go long enough. Actually, oh, you can see that was actually like a pathway of the Holy Spirit coming through with maybe a much, much bigger perspective a longer trajectory than like what you thought initially, you know. So all of that to say that with chicken wing grease on my face, I trust, I trust. 
Maybe I needed a little, you know, like a little ointment there on my lip. Like a little greasy orange ointment, you know. Yeah. And, you know, people see that. I have no idea what people think. Neither do you. Neither do you. You don't have any idea what other people think at all, as far as I can tell. Anywho, that's like a little spiritual, you know, meditation. Sometimes I do video. A lot of times I do videos. It's like a little spiritual experience of meditative. Sorry, to, I use the word spiritual a lot in this, you know. Sorry if I did that. Sorry if I did that. I use the word spiritual a lot. Spirituality. I mean, what the fuck? You know, who could ever really say what it is for sure anyways, you know. A lot of people aren't interested in it at all, you know. It. Whatever it is, they're not interested. There's the word, you know, the word. No. Keep that shit out of here, bro. Religion, oh, spirituality, oh, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, 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 you know, whatever. I don't even care. I don't even know. I'm, I don't identify as anything in particular. You know what I'm saying? In particular, yeah. I don't identify as jack shit. And just to clear things up, I said I don't identify as jack shit, except for um, next Halloween when that is what I will be wearing for my evening to have fun with bobbing for apples and whatnot is I will be Jack shit yeah it's a character that I'm making up right now actually look at him he's got a doggy backpack see that dog and dog on a backpack yeah, little, little doggy in the biker's backpack yeah, I don't know how I feel about that so when I then feel I realize, oh, whatever I feel isn't about anything in particular. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've made a lot of videos in my day. One second. Give me one second. Okay. lot of videos over the years ever since I was a kid you know camcorder on my shoulder with my friends got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of VHS tapes with all kinds of stuff on them you know so video it's been a part of my journey no doubt no doubt if anyone ever bumps into you and it's like did video have any part to do with Mr. Dr. Ryan Swain's journey like by all means, you gotta feel really free to say, like, anything along the lines of, like, you know, I think it did. I think it really did. Because he. He said, I actually one time heard him say so when I was in a video with him. Because you, the viewer of videos in this video, is part of the video, you know, of course. It's interesting to think that, like, whatever expression comes through here is mitigated and mediated and modulated by the actual people who will eventually watch this crazy fucking video you know what i'm saying like whoa like what's coming through right now is a function of who will watch this video and what their mindset is their belief system their energy their uh relationship to yours truly me my me my me ryan yeah it's crazy it's crazy and i can just tell from the way that things are coming through and the feel that i'm feeling right here yeah yeah that this is a fucking lively ass motherfucking video group, you know? And it's cool. It's cool because, you know, my videos, and I don't even really think of it as my videos. I think of them as like. Well, I don't even really think about them much at all, actually, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. 
But the videos that I post on YouTube, you know, it's like, uh, it looks like maybe like 10 people watch them. And I would venture to say that probably almost none of those, eh, so give or take a few, <laughs> actually watches them, you know, all the way through from, you know, initiation of the artistic expression until termination of said artistic expression, which generally and actually would not particularly terminate when the camera shuts off because that's just one part of the artistic expression. You know what I'm saying? Do you follow me at all on that? You might not. You might just be going like, whoa, weird. This guy's fucking weird. Yeah. That's fine. I have been called weird. Like... <laughs> Like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, so much that I was like, yeah, of course I'm weird. Like, do, do you know me? Do you know me? Because if you know me, you've known that I've always been weird. I've been rocking it, repping it, man. I used to stand up in fucking class when the teacher would be writing on the chalkboard. So I heard all the people in the class looking around, and I'm, here's Ryan, Swain, standing there in math class, you know, like, while the teacher's... Then when the teacher goes to turn around, you just sit back down. It's like, what are, you know, what are, what is that? What's anyone gonna do about it? <laughs> oh my god, I just I had fun. I was always having fun. I remember when I was in dental school. Okay, I'm just gonna settle in here a little bit. You know, sometimes I'm making a video. There's just always a little thing that's like I don't want to. It's just it's not it's not real, but it's like a. Don't want this to be too long or, you know, about 15 minutes might be good. Like, fuck all. What? That's old bullshit. Because there's no rules when it comes to capturing an artistic expression. And then I'm realizing right now more so that the capturing of the artistic expression is part of the artistic expression. And as I've already said, people watching this fucking thing, listening to it, hearing me, seeing me right now. You're part of the experience. Your energy has affected this delivery even if you do not see this video for like you know a long time you know that's one way of saying it purple car purple purple get back purple flowers can you see the purple flowers yeah look at the i mean flower yeah look at this yesterday i was out here um you know? I mean, just look at these beauties. Look at that purple. Look at that. Look at, do you see that? Now, the camera never does it justice, you know? It's beautiful, though. It's beautiful. I mean, mm, 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 just how I like my women. Soft. And awesome. Soft and awesome. Which, as far as I can tell, is really true about all people. All people. Soft and awesome. Some people don't seem real soft in their current expression, but you check their skin and you'll notice no matter what the fuck's coming out their mouth, it's still pretty soft. Yeah. Oh, you guys know Ryan? Oh, oh, is he the guy with the chicken wing thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah, bro. That, that guy is fucking, whew. Like, wow. Like, I've never talked to him, but. Yeah. Hear that bird in the background? It's amazing, man. God's kingdom is just amazing. It really is. And so are you.
so are you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You know it. You're amazing and you know it. Bro. Chill out, cool out, you know. Enjoy the summer, man. It's summertime. You gotta fucking enjoy the summer, bro. Or else you ain't living. And if you ain't living, might as well get busy dying, friend. Might as well get busy dying. And I just made that up. And I took most of it from one of my favorite movies of all time. I think. Maybe, I guess. Ah, it's a little melodramatic. But um, that movie, Shawshank Redemption, you know what I'm talking about? I'm guessing some people watching this are all like, oh, I know exactly what he's talking about. And other people watching are like, And to those people, I say, yo, holla at your dog. Holla at your boy, you know. It's all good in the hood. I don't give a shit if you don't know movies, songs, whatever. I don't care about what you know at all. I don't care about what you know. I mean, I'd like to hear about everything that you know, but not every, maybe not everything, but you know, maybe everything. It's just fun to share stories, talk about stuff, shit, shit you've seen, shit you know. But it's really awesome to also be resting in a place where you realize that you don't know shit. Because then anytime any friction about what you know comes up, it's just like, ah, it doesn't come up. Really, not in any way that wouldn't be like flirtatious in nature, you know what I'm saying? And really all behavior at its core is flirtatious in nature. Even the stuff that doesn't really seem like it at all, you know what I'm saying? It really it is. It ultimately is. If you let God's movement be what it be. flow how it will flow in the pathways of love and truth. Upside, inside out, living la vida loca. Lips will wear you down. Eating up pollo loco. Your gums are made of Kool-Aid. Loco, I will mix you up right now. Au revoir. And end scene. I don't know if you'll remember at the beginning of the video, I was like, you know, I'm going to, I'm acting, I'm doing a little acting practice, so. All of that that you just saw was just a bunch of motherfucking, it was just, I was just acting the whole time, I was acting the whole time. And when I just did the cut thing right there, that's when I'm, oh, woo, I'm off the clock, yo. I'm off the clock, yo, living la vida. I mean, you know, wasting away in motherfucking Margarita fucking bill, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, Jimmy Buffett, bring me my burger and my flip-flops. Because I am off the fucking clock, man. I work, you know. It's tough work being an actor. So one of the guys that did these reports for the uh, divorce um, and custody situation that I was um, fortunate enough to uh, uh, be privy to many years back. It was a guy that was the, kind of the main guy that the court was looking to uh, to kind of tell him, you know, what the fuck is going on here with this family that's breaking up and what is a family and are they breaking up and yeah, they're breaking up, but what does that mean and who are they to each other and who owns kids and can people own kids and what's the right thing and who's upset and who's mad and who's not, which end is up, you know, and all the way through, I was just kind of like, whoa, but this one guy. Because he had to write a report on that. I was like, well, bro, you got a lot of homework on this shit. I'm just chilling, you know, come to some of these meetings or whatever. Because it's, you know, it's the thing to do today. And then he's like, do like a 110 page report. Twice. <laughs> Dr. Lon. Dr. Lon. 
And Dr. Lan, one of the first visits I had with him, I was showing a video, similar to one like this. I was showing him a video. I wanted, yeah, I don't know. I really didn't know why I was showing it to him. I was like, hey, I'm supposed to come here and talk about what's going on. I don't really know what's going on, but like, hey, check out this video. <laughs> And he sees the video and he's got, he's like taking notes on it, you know, Dad, I'm talking, I'm walking with my leather jacket on. I remember which video it was, I have a big gold nose ring in. And he's like, you know, you should be in, you sh oh, he goes, you should have been an actor. Should have. And as he said that to me, I thought it was really funny because wait, should have been. You should have been an actor? What the fuck is he talking about? I mean, really, like, I just didn't know, like, well, I should have been an actor. Like, here, we're sitting in a room together watching a video. He's saying you should have... I, I took it to, for him to mean, like, you're very articulate. You're a handsome young man. And um, you're interesting to watch. And so I was kind of like, fuck yeah, bro. Should I think I told him. I think I said, well, I'm going to be. I'm going to be NC. I was right because this video right here, a good portion of this is just totally fucking acting. You know, you know, one of my best friends in the whole wide world, her name is fucking, you know, between you and me, her name is Aisha Athera Tirawa Riley. Fucking awesome name. Now right, here comes the lawnmower guys, so I might go in the house here. Yeah, you know what? We'll see, we'll see. You hear that noise? I gotta tune in here, right, hold on. Yeah, I'll go inside. They usually get the yard mode quick and get out, so I usually respect their, what I perceive as their desire to not have ever, anyone on the porch when they're, you know, they gotta do that. They gotta do, they gotta do what they gotta do, you know? They gotta do what they gotta do. So check out this new fucking hoodie that came in. Isn't that cool? Oh gosh. You know, I gotta pull those drawstrings off of there though, because drawstrings are for fags. Um, you know, but anyone who likes drawstrings, I would just be kind of like, oh yeah, whatever, man, you know, <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> to each of their own, bro, to each their own. Which doesn't even really make any sense to each their own, uh, to each, to each their own, to each, to each. There, because no, when you say to each, the each is trying to make a, an individual. To each, like to each person, their own. You don't call an individual there. To each their own. Uh, except for when you do. Except for when you see an individual and you go, there. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Then that would be kind of an example of a time when you do call an individual there. <laughs> and right now, as I finish that up, I'm, I'm going like, man, this video is fucking awesome. I'll, I'm just going to pause right now and, and let, let it be known in this beautiful, peaceful, quiet, calm, awesome room. that I have really enjoyed this video so far and I'm still in it. Or am I? Was I ever really in it at all? And what is it? What is it? Because if I shut this camera off, but yeah, what would change? The potential in the room would change. I turn this camera off. See, that's the thing. I've been, it's part of why I do these videos because I kind of play with like the energy in the room, you know, the feel. It's the feel. I'm so sensitive now, you know. Like, mm, 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 mm. I feel, 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 feel. And, uh, you know, so when you got a camera on, there's this, uh, like, playing for the camera. And I used to, like, be like, ah, I want to be comfortable and natural on camera as if the camera wasn't there, kind of. That, you know, that thought, like, oh, I want to be as comfortable. But the camera, as if it's not there. I'm so used to it, it's not even there. But the reality is, is when it's there, it is there. So there is no 
oh, I'd be, be as though it wasn't there. Because if it's there, the potential of what's happening, literally. And this is where the collective human mind right now, they, it would be like what I'm about to say or what I've already said, and I'm going to reiterate in a different way. That would be like, what? What? But the only reason they go back and forth like this, like, what? 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 Is because the, it's true. And they, it's can really confusing because it like fucks up at like lots of stuff that they've like had their bullshit resting on. And what's funny is right now I don't even remember what it was, you know? <laughs> I might remember. Who gives a fuck, you know? I mean, I do. I, I want. The, I don't want this video to be boring for people, but at the same time, oh, I was talking about playing for the camera and that kind of stuff. Oh, I was saying. I see. I knew. I, I kind of knew it would come back to me. It was about that if the camera's on, if there's a camera in the room, whether someone knows it or not, their body, whether they're conscious of it or not, can sense because uh, when you put turn on a video camera. That's like a portal that's open up. The microphone's collecting. The, all the sensors are collecting. So there is a pull. That, that stuff that gets stored in the phone, it's energy. And so when the energy is getting collected, like the, there, it, it affects the room. Whether or not people in the room consciously know it or not, their behavior, that whatever is happening, will be different. And I might be moving a little fast for you, but I, probably not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that idea that the behavior would be different is kind of also not a thing at all because who the fuck could ever say for sure? Really, that's like when people are talking these days and for many years in the past, actually, quantum physics and quantum reality and quantum particles and quantum potentials. Everyone who kind of knows a little bit about it knows that really what they're saying is like, we don't really know what the fuck is going on. Because when you try to observe something as the observer, your observing of that thing changes or, in a, yeah, it changes or it affects that thing. So the observer is not independent of the thing being observed. And that's what I'll, really all I'm saying. You got a camera on, it's an observer. A microphone on, it's observer. The fact that that observer is observing, it changes the waves of potential of reality of what's happening. And so as I finish right there, I'm like, wow, I got a lot of, you know, amped up, pumped up, talking loud about this. And, but what's the real point here? Why am I saying this? Why does this matter? Why is this on this video? Is this important? Is this interesting? Is this funny? Is this smart? You know, who the fuck would say for sure other than me right now? And I'd say like, this is fucking awesome, seriously. Because what I'm hitting on here is just a way to just break through in a real, you know, like slicey. Like, you know, you watch those, uh, you watch those, uh, satisfying videos on YouTube and stuff like that. I love when that stuff comes through like my Facebook feed as satisfying, you know, machines pressing stuff out and other things happen that are like very satisfying. Well, what we are as consciousness has a lot of properties to it, like water. And a, maybe a more down to earth or a little ah, a more mainstream, I'll say, which isn't necessarily down to earth at all. In fact, you can very much argue that it's the opposite. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so. Our minds share a lot of similar properties to that of water. certain kind of flow to our energy, to our life energy, to our life force, to our mojo, you know, to who we are as loving, soulful, bright, awesome, good, powerful beings. So when things flow, when things are chill, when things are respectful, you know, not from a place of like, oh, I got to be respectful because that's actually not respect at all. The only thing that we could actually call respect and feel really great about it is actual respect, which has to do more with awareness and uh, feeling, feeling my environment, 
And if I'm good at feeling my environment, I naturally adapt with it in a way that's respectful because ultimately I'm not separate from it in any real way. That's another thing that science tells us, which is funny to me to do this science. Because what we call science is just a bunch of people who believe some stuff, did some studies. You know, like everybody's you were doing science all the I mean, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to drop it. It doesn't feel all that cool to really even get into that conversation. So fuck you, Ryan. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? sense is that I might head out and go get some coffee or something. It's a hot ass day out there, so I might get iced coffee. But anyways, whoever's watching this, I used to say this in my videos and then I stopped for a long time because it, it just didn't feel right. And now I'm going to say it in this video. I'll see how it feels. Oh, that's one thing I kind of see in my life too is it's like, I don't take any responsibility for anything that I say. Because as it comes out, I'm experiencing it for the first time just like anyone else is. So if anyone's like, what was that all about? It's kind of like, your guess is as good as mine. Mine might sound and seem, my guess might sound and seem like it's a better guess because it's about me. But even as I'm talking right now, I'm like, I don't know what it's going to be until it comes out. How could I like take, you know, be, get blamed for something that I did, you know, in the past? So somebody's got a problem with something that I did in the past. You know, any, if someone's got a problem with you about something you did in the past, they can come talk to you to your face about it or they need to shut the fuck up and go find someone else to hold something against. Because when people hold stuff against you, they're only hurting themselves. They're draining themselves. But you can feel it when they're holding it against you. It's like adults, they love to turn on you, hold something against you, and then their ego actually uses that thing to like build on top of, and it's in the background. It's, it's in their subconscious that they're hating you, and then they try to pretend like they don't. Oh, no, I'm not mad. That's the biggest thing right now. Adults. Oh, no, I'm not mad. Oh, 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 oh no, I'm not mad. Oh, no, that's ridiculous. I'm not mad. I just obviously hate that person. <laughs> And I obviously have huge problems with them, but I won't go talk to them about it and I won't do anything about it. And I'll just blah, 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 blah. I'll just bitch and moan and complain about it and let my ego feed on that. Meanwhile, while the good life like passes those people by because anyone holding on to anything, they don't, you don't, no one wants to hold on to anything. It's, it takes effort to hold. And you know, life is about who letting go, you know, and you're letting go slowly as you will because trying to let go too fast is kind of like, Efforting too. So it's it's a real gentle dance of consciousness finding itself. And it's a fucking beautiful thing, man, that involves funniness and humor and sexiness and flirtatiousness and all of the stuff. Because God's got room for all of it. Because God is all of it. And none of it. God is none of it. God exists, God doesn't exist, words, 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 and meanwhile, holler, yeah. All right, well, whoever watched this and spent this time with me, I sincerely appreciate you. In fact, it goes far as to say, I love you. Always have, always will. What does it mean? As I sit here right now asking myself that question, hmm, what does it mean? Uh, I know, I kind of forget what I said. What, I love you? What does it mean? Uh, it's like, I think you're naturally awesome and bright. Yeah, I think you're naturally awesome and bright, of course. And funny and smart and cool. And uh, mysterious. Yeah, okay, bye.